Assalamu alaikum welcome to Khamar Munboy channel and this is a new video for you do like my video so that I can create more for you by clicking on this like button and also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel till now and also press on the bell icon if you are not getting this notification uh, for my channel you will get a notification every time I upload a new video thank you okay now I'll add a column add a new property run to it column then write concrete column three hundred by nine hundred and thirty five will be the column can change the color and all this notes data everything you go to this property a column select column pm2 m3 select reverse here you can use this reverse so out of this whichever rebar you don't want you can change it this is the clear cover of the confinement bars it is 40 ml to be checked means already whatever the column um, bars you are giving that will be checked and uh, In the two direction confinement bars in the two direction is two in direction of this three that you can change all this if you are going to check then you can change all these bars and you can click on the refiner reinforcement to be checked and uh, if it is to be designed then you need not to change all these things just uh, change this to 8 mm uh, and the minimum diameter of the bars you want to use. Uh, it's 16 mm. The corner bars are too. Go to the modifiers and change the modifiers. Here the torsional constant we can keep it as 0 0.01. The concrete is not taking any torsion. Delete this property. And the beam also you can modify the property and here also in torsion I keep it as 0 0.01 if you don't want to consider the torsion in the beam So it will give the required design reinforcement for the sections. Now, now I will add a copy of this column property and I will add different column sizes. And I can add corner columns like 300 by 
600. So I have added different type of columns. Now I'll go and define the slab sections. Here reinforcing bar sizes you can remove whichever is not available in the market. This one. Click on the delete button to remove this sizes which are not available and it will not show in the list or it will not take while designing. Now go to define and uh, select the slab sections. Delete the plank property and modify the slab one property. In slab one, you write the depth of the slab, slab 125. Select M20 concrete and shell thin. It is already taken for slab. If you want to design a uh, a slab with shear forces then you have to take shell thick and uh, if you want one way slab you have to take membrane so modifiers these are currently default you can change it or if you have already designed the slab so no need to change it because uh, it will not uh, make any difference in the design you know, of the column and beams now already we actually already take the slab designs uh, slide is designed then uh, based on the area then we have we have to put on this yes Honey tabs for beams and column design it is sufficient you can also design the slab in e tabs for flat slabs and all you have to use strips so if you want to design the slab the slab modifiers i here mentioned is 0 0.25 for flat slabs and flat plates Or other slab it is not required to put and then you can put it now here it is 125 add a copy of this property and you take slab 200 That is for cellar floor I am taking for regular loads. And I will take slab 125 one, one more and uh, we will make it as a one way slab. Select this use a special one way load distribution. a copy of that right okay so the slab has been defined you can also define the walls Take wall 200. M35 wall. Design a cell thin.
walls you want to be uncracked so walls are generally not designed for out of the plane bending uh, to avoid excessive lo longitudinal reinforcement in such case uh, smaller modifiers and say 0.1 uh, for M1, M11, M1, M2, and M12, so numerical instabilities could be avoided. However, use M11, M12 is equal to 0 0.7 or 0 0.35 when considering the out of the plane bending wall. So, as of a column, we are using the walls that is 0 0.7, we can use for wall, and uh, for spandrel, we can use 0 0.35 uh, like a beam. So, that we will be changing M11, M12, 0. 7 and 0.7 okay so this with this we have defined the member properties let us go for drawing these members using this draw option. 